Hi, it's Nick here. I'm here to talk to you about how to remove a BMW X3 2004 rear emblem. I searched on the internet, all I could find was video of how to take off the front emblem and rear emblems that were exactly the same as the front emblem. Anybody who has a 2004 X3 knows that the rear emblem is different. And if you don't understand the difference, you can go through a lot of pain and heartache trying to get it off. This is a rear emblem. You want to come a little closer, camera? As you can see, <laughs> uh, there was some damage done to it, and that was primarily by me. Look at how thick it is. Look at the back. There's two prongs, just like on the front emblem, there's two prongs. There are two holes, just like the front emblem. However, what's different about the rear emblem is that it's much thicker. And you may get confused because this used to be a BMW uh, emblem looking uh, part here. And on the front, you pop it off. You pop the BMW emblem sim symbol off. So on the rear, you may get confused and think that you have to pop this, the emblem out of this piece. And if you do that, like I did, you'll spend hours getting very frustrated. So this video is to try to help uh, those who want to change their own emblems realize that at least on the X3 2004, it's much different. Okay, so with the rear emblem, you can see, as I said before, it's much thicker than the front emblem. Again, don't fool yourself thinking that you've got to pop the BMW emblem symbol out of this chrome piece. The whole piece comes off. And so what I did was I put tape all around the side here, and then I got a very flat, hard device. In this case, it was a broken spatula. And what I did was I took the spatula and I wedged it up underneath the chrome piece here. You can see like that. And then I started pulling it away. And I went over to the other side and did the same thing. I slid it up underneath of it, started to pull it away, and eventually the whole thing popped off. Now, backing up a step, if you live in a cold weather climate, anywhere that gets below, I'd say about 60 degrees, you're gonna wanna take a blow dryer and warm this device up. I did that for about 10 minutes all around. I just kept circling around and around and around. And the reason why is underneath this device, there's a double-sided adhesive. And so that's actually what sticks it on there. On the front device, your little grommets here, or your little posts here actually pop into these holes and that holds it in place. But on the back, those just line it up. They don't actually hold it in place. The adhesive, which fixes to your device, and then it fixes to your car is actually what holds it on. Now, once you warm it up with the blow dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes, and you slide a flat plastic piece underneath because you don't want to scrape your paint, and you're able to pull this off, you're gonna have a thick layer of rubber, which I don't have any good pieces left over here, thick layer of rubbery goo on there. You're gonna take that, Flat device, again, I would take the blow dryer and go back over it again for about five or two minutes, and you're gonna scrape it off with something plastic and flat. You can see I've got most of it off here. I've been doing this for about 15 minutes. You can see I'm getting a little bit more, a little bit more. What I'm gonna do now, not to waste your time, is I'm gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this off. And when I get the rest of this off, I'll show you what the new piece looks like and how to fix it. Hey, as you can see, uh, the black gooey stuff is coming off, not very easily. Uh, scraping it off is kind of a non-starter, it's just, just way too hard. So what I've got is some goo gone and, uh, and a clean cloth and it seems, to be help, it seems to help break it up some. So what I've been doing is spraying it in the cloth and then rubbing it right on the black material here. Now what I found is that the goo gone breaks up the material a little bit, but it doesn't take it off the car. What I found very helpful is roll your cloth over to a clean spot, and it really takes it off. Roll it over to a clean spot, and it really helps take some of it off. But this has been about uh, 20 minutes doing this, so give yourself probably maybe at least an hour to get, if you want to get it completely off. Hi, 
Again, you can see I've got uh, all of the black uh, double-sided gooey tape off there. If it doesn't look like it's perfectly clean, it's because those are scratches uh, from either me or the first person that tried to uh, take this off. I'm not sure where. But uh, so anyway, all the uh, gooey stuff is off. And you'll see I'm gonna fix the uh, the new one here in just a few minutes. Okay, we're just about ready to put the final piece on. I just wanted to show you exactly what I was talking about. This was my old BMW cap off the hood that I took off. I thought it was affixed to the back, just like the front, because in the front, it's just like this, and all you have to do is slide up underneath it and pop it off and ding, put the new one on. It took about six seconds. That's what a new one looks like. You can see what they look like on the back. They're very thin, two prong holes. Prong holes don't line up for the back, though. So when you watch the video and people tell you the front and the back are the same, maybe on other BMWs, but not on the X3 2004, they're not. This, of course, is the rear one, and this is what I wanted to show you as well. Don't get confused and think that you have to pop this, what looks like a BMW emblem, this inside piece, looks just like that piece. Don't think you gotta pop this out of this chrome piece, because that's what I did, and you can see all the scratch marks all the way around as I tried to dig it out, dig it out, dig it out. Uh, so don't be an idiot like me and try to do that. This is where I got frustrated and just poked a hole in it and thought I could pop the whole thing off and then I realized, oh, it's one whole piece. That's how I figured it out after about two hours of uh, chipping at it and uh, getting very frustrated. So don't make that piece. Don't make that mistake. What I'm gonna do now, this is the new piece that came and you can see it comes with double-sided tape on it. That's the sticky gooey stuff that I just spent about 20 minutes getting rid of. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, you can see here I've fixed the final piece. I think it looks great. Uh, this video was primarily designed to help those of you who are struggling with how to remove the rear emblem off a 2004 BMW X3. Uh, again, the big thing here, a summation is the front and the back are different. Uh, they're two different pieces. Front, super easy to take off. The back is too, as long as you know that you're not doing the same job you did on the front. So. What I did was I removed, uh, I took a blow dryer and I heated it up and then I uh, taped up all around the side of the paint so I wouldn't scratch my paint. I found a nice uh, hard flat piece of plastic to wedge underneath of it and then slowly work it off, pry it off. I did the, the left and the right side uh, at the three and nine o'clock respectively there. Popped it off, that would be, uh, yeah, popped it off and then there was a long removal process of the goo, and that was kind of painful, but if you get some goo removed or some, some solvent on there, that uh, really helped out and it went much quicker that way. And then uh, I removed the, the, uh, the backing off this piece here that had the double-sided sticky tape, and all I did was affix it to it. I did take the blow dryer and I did heat up the metal a little bit before I did it so that it was a little bit warm because I thought it would affix the adhesive better than the cold metal of the car. So. I hope uh, in the end that this has helped you out and I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. Oh!